Hello, it's good to have you with us this Friday. I'm Bodie Brooks. Our top story at five, we are getting a clearer picture of the events that led to a murder-suicide situation overnight in Monroe. Monroe Interim Police Chief Reggie Brown says the incident involved two shootings starting just before 744 Thursday night at Parkview Apartments. Witnesses tell investigators that 30-year-old Brittany Tucker had been experiencing mental health issues for years. According to those witnesses, Tucker was seen recently walking around with a gun and seemed to be experiencing a mental health crisis. The first shooting took place in the parking lot. The victim was 20-year-old Antisha Logwood. She was talking with a friend when Tucker approached them and asked a question. Police say that Tucker then shot and killed Logwood before fleeing to her own apartment. Police also say that Logwood's friend was not injured. According to police, the second shooting occurred within Tucker's apartment. They say that is when Tucker went into her apartment and killed her four children before taking her own life. The children's ages range from 12 years to only six months old. Our hearts go out to, to her, uh, to, to her mental state. Um, you know, we oftentimes depend on the, the, the public, the community, uh, who recognize um, people that are in mental health crisis to give us a call and so that we can be able to respond and get them the help that they need. And so. For those who are struggling or know someone who has a mental illness, you can contact the Northeast Delta Human Services Authority. For more information, you can go to myarchalmas.com.